What's up party people? All right, we're gonna do another tutorial today. Uh, we're gonna do some lens flares in Photoshop and we're also gonna do some cool lens effects. If you wanna know more about me, feel free to check out my website at andyswy.com. Um, I'm a professional artist and I've been doing this stuff for about 15 years. I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is add some lens flares. Now, Photoshop does have a lens flare tool, which we'll take a look at briefly. Um, create a new layer, select all, filter, render, lens flare. And then it lets you sort of use this. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not my favorite. It's kind of antiquated. And you also don't have that much control um, when you apply it. Um, you get something like this, and then you have to basically do a lighten or a dodge or a screen and then sort of replace it where you know originally it was but then you have to paint out the edges and, and also these lens flares I mean they look like they're straight out of 1995 so I don't use that method at all I use the Andrew method <laughs> and I basically just go to Google and type in lens flare and it's going to basically pop up a whole bunch of lens flares, okay? Um, and from there, I'm going to find one that I like. Um, I had one picked out earlier. Mm. I generally want one that I don't have to paint out black edges. This one looks pretty cool. Actually, you know what looks better is... This one right there. Copy. So I'm just going to basically open that up, do a copy image, and then I'm going to paste it right back in. Control V is what I just did. And then now that I have this on black, I'm going to switch this to dodge. Or actually, we're going to switch it to screen and then place it where we want it. I am noticing that I am getting some discoloration. So some of that layer is still there. I'll just erase that out like that. The other trick would be to apply a contrast, drop it down and up the contrast, and that generally gets rid of that discoloration as well. So now that I have these two, I'm going to duplicate that and move it onto here, move it onto here. I'm basically duplicating by holding down Alt and Shift there and off here in the distance. I'm going to have one, and they're going to be smaller, so I can Control T and then Alt Shift to shrink them down a little bit. And I'm going to make another one like that, and then Alt T to make it shrink down a little bit more. Okay, and that's how you create. Um, decent lens flares in Photoshop. I would not use the Photoshop tool. Uh, but let's say you want to add a little more to this. Say you want to add sort of a lens flare that the entire image feels like something like a dirty lens. So what I would then do is type in dirty lens image. So yeah, something like this. Here we go. Perfect. This will work just fine. View image. The reason why I always do view image instead of copying it uh, straight out of, like, say, here, is because this is actually a lower res than if I click on the image. This is now the full res. So we're going to go to the top layer. And I'm gonna, what I did is Control T to make it bigger. Scale it. Now I'm going to scroll through these. That will work nicely. I'm going to add some contrast to that. By adding contrast, it's going to pull out the dark areas. And I'm going to lower my brightness. Then I'm going to soften the opacity a little bit. Okay. So now we're starting to see like lens on, flares on the lens itself, kind of giving it this dirty look. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of vignetting. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a new layer, 
fill it all black, and then erase out the middle. Okay, and that adds um, some vignetting so it feels a bit more like a camera lensy ness. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a HD HUD, like we're looking through a camera. So HD camera HUD. Okay, this is what I'm looking for, but I want something like this. I think that looks cooler. Copy that, paste it on the top layer, switch this down to screen, control T again, which lets me scale it, scale it up. All right, so now we have something that looks sort of like a Call of Duty um, or a camera HUD or whatnot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, if you want to know more about me, check out my website at andyswy.com and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.